Welcome to 2K Sports Network Hockey, and we are in the Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill Triangle at the R. Stops that one. It was going low right. Horkov intercepts the pass going up that right side. Taken into the zone by Carolina. And along the boards, Williams, under pressure, sends the puck out, but no one can get to it. Henske with the puck at center ice. Rollison with a pad save. He's in the corner. Rollison is really making it look easy. That's not easy to do, folks. He was crouching down and used his mobility to get his skate on the puck. What a stop. You have to love this guy's quickness. Technically, you always want to be in that position for the puck to hit you. When it isn't there, this guy's quickness bails him out time after time. The Hurricanes get the face off. From Lupul. He passes it to the left wing. Over the blue line. Behind the net. Lupel stops it using the blocker. Whitney from Wesley. It's passed to the point. Stillman in the corner. He centers it. Here come the Oilers with a chance. He shoots. Ward was able to use his pads because he was still in the crouch position in the stand-up mode. What a beautiful stop with his goal pad. Bob, it looks like he got all of that slap shot. Still a right pad save. An underrated save by the goaltender. Lupul along the boards to Stoll from Lupul. Shoots! Ward with a nice save. He had the stick ready in that shaft down position. Beautiful. From Stillman over to Brindamore. Here's the rush, two on two. Rollison with a gorgeous stick save. He was crouching down and got the wood right on the puck. Stoll, check that center ice. He controls the puck along the boards. The corner. Loophole got punished in the corner by Commodore. Oh, and here they come. Odd man rush, three on two. Stales sends it up to the center. And at center ice. He feeds it up the left side. Whitney skating with it at center. Oh, and a chance for Carolina now. From Stales to Hemsky. There it is, Edmonton on the move. The Oilers switch up their defenseman out there. It goes over to the right side. The Oilers have found themselves in a scoreless game. Nothing on the board right now out there midway in the first period. Harry, what can you say so far about the play we've seen from this team? You try to analyze the comparisons here stat-wise. You don't see much. This is an even game on all accounts, and I really feel it's a good matchup. This is the kind of game where you need to identify a few opportunities and to take advantage and make the most of each one. Because in a game like tonight's, that's what's going to make the... He scores! They start this road game up on top. It's 1-0 here in the first period. Bobby was right there in front of the goal. And you've only got a second when you're there to get that shot away. And only a second he needed, Harry. Great positioning to pick out a 
spot. Although, with one-timers, there isn't a lot of picking out to do. No, nope, you really just have to fire. I've heard a lot of great shooters say, you know, when I shoot the one-timer, I either go high or low, and that's about it. Not a bad methodology. Whatever he used on this one, it worked. Here's the face-off coming up. The Oilers are energized by that one here in the first period. That's a go-ahead goal, at least for the moment. And he brings it up. Smith Williams carries the puck into the corner. Wrestling controls the puck in the neutral zone. Rollison saves it. His team's got a one-goal advantage right now. Now Edmonton into the zone. Smith over to Hemsky. Over to the point. Haberle passes the puck to the center. Sends it to the defenseman. Cole through the zone. Over to the right wing. It's shot. Over to Smith from Bergeron. Pass the blue line. Smith from Horkov. Smith. Ward makes the pass to the defenseman. To Smith from Hemsky. Bob Cole over to Williams. Passes over to the left wing. Hemsky, center ice. It's sent to the right wing. Ward makes the poke check, protecting the goal. From Stahl to Cole. Shoots. Bob, there's got to be a tad of frustration. This guy has launched his fourth shot and still has been unable to turn the red line on. We're down to a minute 37. Ward makes the stop. Down one goal, holding his part on the defensive bargain to stay in this one. One minute. Goal brings it past that blue line. Less than one minute to go in the period. Shoots once more. Gets it over to the left wing. Smith skates along the boards. And the buzzer sounds for the end of the first period with a score one to nothing. And now, folks, it's time for the Dodge Intermission Report. They've been really focused out there on defense tonight, Bob, and I think that's a big reason why they're up by a goal to this point. They've been making big plays and crucial defensive stops all game long. The Oilers coming out now to start the second period with a one-goal lead. This is where they want it to be, and I think we're going to see them really attacking here in the second period to try to expand the lead. Just about ready to start the second period as the ref gets ready to drop the puck. Boy, I used to love to hear this sound. When you go on the road, people hate you. At home, everybody loves you. Listen to this crowd. And this is when people are having a real good time enjoying the game and themselves. And he's skating with the puck in the neutral zone. And it's deflected off the right pad. Controlling it in the corner. He feeds it up the right side. Center ice. Hamsky has control. And it's going to be two on two. Passes the puck to the center. The Hurricanes get called for icing. The Hurricanes have attempted nine total shots on goal. The skaters will face off left of the net. Carolina in their own zone. Through the zone with the puck. Schoenqvist gets control of the puck in his own zone. Now Edmonton into the zone. Lupo in the corner. You gotta like this save. If he doesn't make it, his team is down by two. And you know what? We're in the second period. And this is a quick... He scores! And here in the second period, that will tie this game up. Swift wrist shot, Harry. You gotta love the speed and accuracy. I sure do. The five hole is 
such a backbreaker for a goalie. When you've got that tiny space to guard and someone hits it dead on, it's a tough one to handle. The official's going to get the action started again. Here's the faceoff. He's got it over the blue line. Here come the Hurricanes with a chance. The Hurricanes showing they can get back right into it. Boy, that was a big goal. Second period, that was a very big goal. You do not want to be down when the second period is over. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. Rolison saves that one on the right side. Scharnqvist with the pass up the center. Back to the point. Lupel has it down low. Lupel can't get it on the net. He's got it along the boards. He's got it in the corner. He decides to center the puck. He's in that shot saved by Ward. Ward, smart play to just hold on. You want to talk about skating ability? Let's talk lateral movement for a second. The defenseman thinks he's got him lined up, and then poof, he's gone. Ward digs in at the left side, waiting for the puck drop. The Hurricanes win a key faceoff with the game tied here on home ice. And the puck held in the defensive zone by Carberley. And the Oilers pick it up. He passes it up the center. Here come the Oilers with a chance. They score! They had the old man rush, and they capitalize. Don't baby. The puck comes off the blocker awkwardly and finds its way into the net for the goal. The intention was there, Harry, but it just wasn't on the goalie's side as the goalie attempts to deflect it with his blocker. There's not much he can do about this, but shrug it off and continue with the game. This stuff happens to all goaltenders from time to time. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The Oilers have pulled ahead here in the second period of play tonight with that goal. Let's see if they can hang on. Ward makes the save. This team down a goal right now doesn't want to give up the number. The Oilers are ahead at the end of the first period and have the one goal advantage. Perry, what's keeping this team going here tonight? They've been really focused out there on defense tonight, Bob. And I think that's a big reason why they're up by a goal to this point. They've been making big plays and crucial defensive stops all game long. Smith at center ice. The corner. Carberley dropping it up in the corner. He passes it up the right side. Cole skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Wilson makes the save. He sure doesn't want to give up this one goal lead. The puck goes to the defenseman. Bergeron fires it out under pressure, but no one's there to get it. Shooting! Ward with a pad save in the neutral zone. And it's a two-on-two. -two. It goes to the point. Scharnqvist hits the puck out center. Oh, and here come the Oilers. Gets it over to the left wing. Man, this had to surprise everybody, including the guy that got hit. Bob, we hardly ever see this guy hit without authority. Off a player and up off the glass. Oh, and here come the Oilers. Over to Smith. It's set up the left side. Cole over to Stahl. Over to Williams from Stahl. He shoots. And it's saved by Rollison. Stales has the puck through the zone. It's passed to the point. Shoots down low. Horkov has the puck in the corner. Hedekin passes it up the center. He brings the puck past the blue line. 
Hemsky from Horkov at center. Two minutes left in the period. And they've got a three on two chance here. Ward sends it back to the defenseman. He takes the big body check. From Commodore over to Stahl. Over to the right wing. Williams skating with it along the boards. From Stales to Scharnfist. Smith at center. The second period is over, and the score is 2-1. Two, two, and it's time now for the Dodge Intermission Report and Analysis. Bob, sometimes you get a look at the stats, and that does not explain what's going on out on the ice. This is not one of those times. The stats show the game has been even, and it has. One of these teams is going to have to step out and make the difference on the ice. And whoever does it first is going to have the best chance of winning this game. The Oilers have to stay focused here as we get period three rolling. They can't let that one goal lead slip away. Lots of teams have watched their third period lead evaporate. And those third period goals are hard to come by. Period three about to start. Center ice for the puck drop. And the faceoff is won by Carolina. To the point. Bergeron is able to pick it up and clear it out. And the Hurricanes regain possession. The Hurricanes hit it out of their zone to clear it. Now Edmonton's got it side up through the zone there it is Edmonton on the move saves it with a stick Wesley hits the puck up to center across the blue line he controls the puck along the boards Smith over to Horkov it goes to the point Hensky has it along the boards was that me, or did the building shake on that hit? We don't expect it from him, but that guy really stoned him. Edmonton back into the zone. You have to like this play. He is not known for his hitting ability, but he lined him up and made sure they hit. The Hurricanes get the chance to switch lines. They wanted to swap D-lines. Ripped. Horkov doesn't get his shot on goal. Over to Brindamore from Hedekin. Stales disrupts the play again. Good poke check. He makes a centering pass. Along the boards with the puck. Rolison stops that shot headed bottom right. Stales from Rolison. Horkov has the puck in the neutral zone. It's sent back to the point. The shot. Ward makes the save. His team down a goal right now. They can't give up another one. And now Carolina with it across the blue line. Great save, Bob. This guy has some nice reflexes getting the pad on that puck so quickly. To Scharnfist from Stales. The puck is hit up the right side. Hemsky along the boards. From Hemsky over to Horkov. Ward, his team down by one, makes the smart call and covers the puck. Brindamore had 31 goals to end the season last year. And this face-off will be to the goalie's left. The Hurricanes, trailing by a goal, win the face-off. He's got it over the blue line. Ball checked. The Oilers have possession of the loose puck in the defending zone. From Rollison to Stoll, he's got it in the neutral zone. To Torres. He shoots it, and the blocker save. Puck deflects away. Sends it to the defenseman. Cole brings the puck up. Shot. Great agility to bat that shot away with his goal stick. Over to Lopo. Was that my imagination, or did the building shake on that one, Bob? What a crunch. 
Passes it to the right wing. Cole over to Stahl. In the defensive zone. It's poke checked away. Williams knocks the puck to the center. And here come the Hurricanes. It's fed back to the point. In the corner. Over to Stahl from Bergeron. To the left wing. Ward with a beautiful poke check. Ward safely covers up. Doesn't want to let his team get behind any further. The Oilers, you can see from the graphic, they've been successful controlling the puck on offense. They have a one goal edge right now, and that's the reason. I agree, Bob. I think it is the reason. You can really control the game when you control the puck on offense. And if they can cling on to this one goal margin, their puck control will be the reason why they win this game. Stall with the puck at center. Stall shoots wide on that one. The Hurricanes shot location graphic up on the screen, and it has not been a big night for production for this club, that's for sure. They can try to get some more opportunities where that one came from, Bob. Right now, trailing by one at this point, they're going to have to pull it all together quickly. The Oilers control the faceoff. They lead by one. He brings it past the blue line. Shot. Ward with the blocker save. Whitney, the Commodore. The puck is centered. He's able to fire it back. Ward covers it up. He just doesn't want to take any chances. Brindamore in the game has delivered three checks to the opposition. The face-off is on the right side of the goalie. Now Carolina's got it. With the puck at center ice. Reasoner clearing the neutral zone. Back to the point. And now in the slot. Hedekin dishes the puck center ice. Rolison sends it to his defenseman. Here come the Oilers with a chance. Reasoner holds him along the boards. The puck is hit up the left side. We're left with a minute 59. Taken across the blue line by the Hurricane. And Rolison makes the save. His team's in a one goal lead right now. saying, did that just go in? They looked like they were stonewalled on that play. And yet they send the shot out, and it goes in. Sometimes you've just got to take the chance, Harry. Right, Bob. Take the chance and take the shot. Every once in a while, it goes in. We've got a tie game, third period hockey. Here comes the faceoff. And a quarter to go. He passes to the defenseman. Hemsky brings it up through the zone. We're down under a minute. The Hurricanes get what they wanted on that play. Third period hockey. They get the tying goal. And they've got the momentum they want and the clean slate. The horn sounds to win the third period. Both teams are headed for the locker rooms as they get set to battle in OT. And it's time now for the intermission report, brought to you by Dodge. Have now got the overtime period to decide this game. It's a sudden death situation, Harry. How do you rate this team's performance so far tonight? The Oilers seem very determined to own this overtime. We've got some exciting action coming up as these guys get set to do battle. And the face-off to start overtime. 
They're trying to get the boys stoked up at home. Here in a tie game, the crowd is trying to be a positive factor. And this is what a home crowd advantage can be if it works. But things off the glass. Stall is held against the boys. Wins with a puck in the defensive zone. The Hurricanes knocking it out of their zone. It's cleared. From Bergeron to Hemsky. He makes the blocker save. It's cleared out of the zone. And now Edmonton touches up. It'll be icing. Hey, it's simple. When all else fails and you're the goalie, go to quickness. And this guy has always had quickness in the tank when he needs it. And here comes the faceoff. Skaters getting ready. The action has been great tonight. The Hurricanes will try to bring it up now through the zone. Over to the point. And oh, here they go. The Hurricanes on the rush. Stoll gets checked in the corner. Stoll brings the puck up just under two minutes left in the period. Ward makes that poke check, protecting his goal. Hemsky gets that puck out, but not a good pass. One minute Controlled in the defensive zone by Bergeron. Bergeron hits the puck out. Nobody on the other end. The centering pass is made. You know, coaches want balance, and sometimes it's easier to find checking forwards than it is to find offensive guys. When you have a player with this offensive mindset on the bench, and you're the coach, it's a very secure feeling. They're getting ready at center ice, and overtime is about to begin. What a game we've seen here tonight. We're headed to a shootout to decide this one. And now, presented by Dodge, it's time for our Dodge Intermission Report. Good luck. Hemsky up first in the shootout for his team. Here he comes. He whips it. It stopped. The goaltender focused on the shot. Skating in. Goalie getting set. He shoots. Korkov up second now. Here he comes. It's ripped and saved. Stoll up second for his team in the shootout. Skating in. Goalie is ready. He shoots. Lupel up to shoot third. Okay now. He's skating in. Ward stops the play with that poke check. Whitney is up third for his club. Okay now. He's skating in. Ripped. Stoll will be the fourth shooter for his team. Now he's skating in. He rips it. Stillman will shoot fourth. Now this is a must-stop situation. It's shot, and he stops the shootout try. Smith will shoot fifth for his team. Here it is. It's shot. Brindamore will be shooting fifth. Here's the pressure now. He's got to stop it. Rollison makes the gorgeous poke check in net. Smith will be up next. All right now, here it is. It's a goal! Off the left post and in the net. He just barely got the shot on goal. This now is a must-score situation. And he stops that attempt. The Oilers win the game in a shootout. What a suspenseful way to finish off a hockey match. Tonight's third star of the game, Ray Whitney. The second star of the game, Sean Burke. And the first star of the game, Ryan Smith. And now it's time for the Dodge post-game wrap-up. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's NHL presentation here on the 2K Sports Network. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast, and we hope to see you next time. I'm Bob Cole with Harry Neal. We'll see you later.